25 and finishing in the Piazza del Campo. Let's have a look at the start. World champion and a big fan for in that rainbow jersey. And the teams that you're seeing represented to SD Works, strong team with Lotta Kopecki, Mishka Bredevold, Elena Cicchini, Nee Fisher Black, Anna Shackley, Damie Vollering, AG Insurance with the likes of Ashley Mormon, Passio, Aromatalia Basso Bikes. Watch out for Francesca Baroni. Um, cyclocross rider as well. Be pink with the likes of Silvia Zanardi. Born to NG20 with Sara Casasola. Good representative in there. Canyon Strand. Varying uh, severity. We are five sectors down. We have three gravel sectors to go as Carline Swinkles uh, goes on the attack here with 46.9 to go. Our next objective, sector six, comes with, to where it starts with 24.7 kilometers to go. Just bring up to speed with where we are, we have done so far. We did have an early breakaway group of Silvia Zanardi, Morgan Coston, Yorani Blanco and Alessia Vigilia. They have been caught. You can see that the peloton very much whittled down at this point as we get in towards uh, the real uh, gnarly sections, you could say, that come at the back end of this race. Danny, you've been in she here. Into the gravel sections. And this is that time before our sixth gravel section, which comes with 24.7 kilometers to go, where the peloton can take restock of themselves. It's all about having numbers at the front of the, uh, of the peloton. So strength in numbers always really, really helps. You don't want the leaders to be on the back foot, to be having to close down gaps. But at this section, you know, at this section, we can see the whole peloton is almost complete and it gives a chance for those leaders to be able to to refuel coming into the last three sections which uh, i'm very very excited about little split here so coming in to today in the women's world tour amanda spratt leading in the world tour overall with 706 points you can uh, you'll be looking out for the trek sega fredo rider in that, uh, well, let me say Chiclamino jersey. It's very uh, Chiclamino jersey from the Giro is the jersey of Amanda Spratt. You can see her kind of in the center of the, the sort of just at the front of the peloton. Um, so leading the World Tour overall, Lisa Longobogini, as we said, not taking the start today. Grace Brown, third overall in the World Tour. Trek Segafredo are leading in the team classification, head of FDJ Suez and SD Works. And Henrietta Christie is leading in the Best Young Riders classification ahead of Eleonora Gasparini and, and Gaia Realini. You can see the Soigneurs along the side. Kristen Faulkner just time trialing her way across here to the former World Junior time trial champion from uh, Team Yumbo Visma. 38.8 kilometers to go, 27 seconds is the time gap. If you are just joining us today, welcome aboard. 136 kilometers today, Strada Bianchi. Um, here we start and finish in Siena. 137 riders took the start Anya loud um, was on the start list didn't take uh, to the start and we have uh, set to six ahead of us which Eight starts hit 20. C um, the Movistar riders talking into the radio as Kristen Faulkner now on this uh, just slight rise starts to distance the Jumbo Visma rider deciding now to go clear on her own So a shame for Carline Swinkles, but it does show the form that Kristen Faulkner's got here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this is something that we've come to expect from uh, Kristen Faulkner. You know, we know what a strong rider she is. So uh, doing this type of long solo attack is not something that's new to her. So uh, she'll be really relishing this opportunity today. She's been really the rider in the last couple of seasons, really, hasn't she, Kristen Faulkner, in the sort of progress that she's made both as a time trialist and races, you know, last year that we watched in Switzerland, you know, in the Giro. All over the road here. The pace is not high yet. And last year we saw a lot more action in this sort of 30 kilometer section between sector five and sector six. So this is a good opportunity now for, for Kristen Faulkner to really home in on her effort, her threshold, the power she knows she can sustain um, and hope that it pays off and she can get all the way into Siena. We'll see if she can. UAE ADQ, though, keen to try and uh, get something established. That group 
brought back together and they're represented today. So Sylvia yeah, Perska, a link of the reaction from uh, the Canyon SRAM team and Ricardo Baumfeind. Um, as, uh, and this is Agnieszka Skalniak that's uh, trying to come across here. I'm really interested to see what Agnieszka can do this year within that Canyon SRAM team. She was one of the most successful riders of last season in a, in a, in a lower division team. Yeah, I think there was only one stage race that she competed in that she didn't win. So, yeah, she uh, she was outstanding last year um, and, you know, had had some very good teammates around her. Asphalt, but you know, that the riders have between these two sections. I mean, some of the uh, the asphalt isn't particularly great. You know, some of the gravel is probably in better condition than some of the roads that we have. But, yeah, it's um, it's a real kind of transition point within the race. Um, Whilst you don't have the focus of the gravel sections, it's so important that the riders stay alert in this section because, you know, as we're seeing, it's constantly groups going up the road. So you need to really pay attention and not just be thinking about the next gravel section to come, but, you know, really staying awake as to the situation that's playing out uh, in the bike race. And, and it's where we expect Strada Bianchi now to come alive. We are heading into our final three sectors, the Monte Aperti, is the uh, sector six along the route. We still have a fairly sizable group behind, but the American, what a season she had. Two stage wins and the queen of the mountains in the Giro last year, a stage win and second overall in the Tour de Suisse. Sort of a slightly wider tire. Um, and we have seen in the past that teams use uh, different types of tires or even use sort of a, a foam inside um, just to help with that kind of puncture protection. Um, but it's really down to the personal preference of the teams, but also, you know, the, the equipment that they have available uh, from the sponsors. So, yeah, of course, nobody wants to, to be puncturing or to reduce the number of punches within the team. Uh, but sometimes it's it's out of your hands. But you can see just how fast uh, this run into the, the gravel the section. Gravel really. section. It is 2.4 kilometers. And Anamik now on the front. She has to do something. She has to close this gap. She's got to use the steepest sections of what's left of this bike race to try and limit her losses almost to Kristen Faulkner, who's doing a storming ride, holding this gap. Cecily at Trip Ludwig clearly coming into form, and Lotte Capecchi looks so composed, as she did last year, to set it up for a win. So you've got Annemiek van Vluten, you've got Lotte Capecchi, you've got Puck Pedersen, who's also still in contention on this climb. Cecily at Trip Ludwig, Pedersen in the green, and van Vluten looks across. Cassia Nuviadoma, Liana Lippert, Damie Vollering, Amanda Spratt just losing a touch. But look at Cecily at Trip Ludwig and Puck Pedersen now coming through towards uh, the front of the group. So the cyclocross rider from Phoenix to Koenig up towards the front puts the power down. Utrup Ludwig look, it looks absolutely phenomenal here today as well. She does. She looks really composed in her body language, specifically compared to Annemiek van Vluten, who looks like she's under Forcing a little bit. Forcing Annemiek van Vluten now to chase. Double numbers here for Damie Vollering and Lotte Kopecki for Team SD Works. Cassia Nuviadoma, Liana Lippert, some Movistar. I've got two riders in. FDJ Swiss with uh, Cecilia Trup Ludwig. And then for Fenix de Koenig, you've got uh, Puck Peterson. But van Vluten looks around as Vollering just starts to make Make a move. Perfect tactics here from Team SD Works. I would say that Liana Lippert wants we need here for Movistar if she can. Needs to give Annemiek van Vluten a bit of help here. I'm just wondering whether Liana Lippert is the chosen rider for so today. Mavi Garcia are your chasers. 16.2 to go. Still at a minute and eight though for the American Kristen Faulkner looked like those uh, two chasing groups were going to come back together because the impetus had really come out of uh, the first group on the road uh, with Annemiek van Vluten sort of being almost dropped the horse there. Oh, Damie Vollering as a horse uh, has got out of the oh, field. Oh, my word. Oh. 
So you could just see her pointing. I wondered what she was pointing to the motorbike. Luton becoming frustrated on the front and it's been up to Puck Peterson, the cyclocross rider, who's got such a lack of experience on the road, who's almost pulling this group behind. Yeah. Cecily Uptrip Ludwig now has come to the front. She sensed that danger and she's been riding with composure. So I think, you know, for Cecily Uptrip Ludwig, she needs to start working, as does Liana Lippert, who's coming through, if they want to make something of this race. So the only travel, as we can see, the crowd's out on this final steep ramp up towards the final part of this gravel section. Great to see so many crowds out here um, to welcome the race through. Kristen Faulkner, minute and 22, 11.8 kilometers to go. This climb, this section. Can she now take this one all the way to the finish? Ramps of 18%, this final uh, sector. Damy Vollering has got that gap, got that buffer over the chasers, but you can now see it's Liana Lippa. Lot of Kopecky now goes. Kopecky's got her teammate just ahead of her. Who is going to react? Is anyone going to react? SD Works looking now with Lotta Kopecky. They know that they've got to get the American back. But last uh, week's winner of the Umlup Het Newsblad and the defending champion, Lotta Kopecky giving chase. It's wow. clear to see what sort of form Lotta Kopecky's in. She sat back. She's been able to profit off having a teammate up the front. You saw how she went up the mirror last week as to how her form is. And I think she's just sensed the danger that there isn't that firepower in this group, that if they just sit back, they're essentially racing for second. So will Lotta Kopecky go straight past teammate Vollering? Will they come together now as a duo and try and team time trial yeah, their way back? Cecily Trump ludwig is almost with Lotta Kopecky and Davey following agonizingly close now. So just that last little bit. It's excruciating when you're in this position, isn't it? Yeah, and those final 20 meters. So Lotte Kopecky, those descending skills, was was that railing it down there? Do it was say, railing it, it, it was ragging it. Is it railing you it when say. you're in control and ragging it when you're out oh, of control? A bit of railing, a bit of ragging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting to see some uh, great aerial shots. But coming into the finish, 19 seconds to Kristen Faulkner. We'll see if she's got anything left to stay with Lotte Kopecky and, and Damie Vollering. Lotte but Kopecky and Damie Vollering start the charge to just try and pull back the last, just last few seconds to our lone leader. But what a day out for Kristen and Vollering. They're really working hard here to try and pull back Kristen Faulkner. Kopecky, though, just rolling out that, uh, just smoothly pedaling behind and this is where it starts to get steep yeah this is where it really starts to ramp up maximum gradient of 16 percent as the catch is finally made with 600 meters to go Kristen Faulkner just moves across Oof. and Tammy Vollering trying to come up the inside Kopecky goes left there Kristen Faulkner as you said is going down swinging in Strada Bianca here Will it be Lotte Kopecky and Damie Vollering? Does Faulkner have anything left here? Is it just now going to come down to a straight battle between the two SD Works riders now as they get hit these steep slopes? Damie Vollering on the front with Lotte Kopecky right on the wheel. It's Team SD Works. They're going to fight this one out. Kristen Faulkner, though, what a ride today as Damie Vollering really putting the pressure on here of Lotte Kopecky is locked right on the wheel. Last year, it was Kopecky and Van Vluten now that came in towards Lisa. through. We're going to have a straight, straight sprint between them as Damie Vollering now tries to come over the top of her teammate. It is going to be throw to the line between the two of them. And the smile there of Lotte Kopecky, the two SD Works riders. It was a case of right. Who's going to take this one at the bottom? Kristen Faulkner, podium for the American. Great ride by Kristen Faulkner. And we'll have a look at the photo finish of that one. And it very much was a case of right. Let's see who's just got the legs at the top. Yeah, it was like a sprint to the town round on the outside. And the throw to the line. Let's have a look at that. This is why we always say, practice that throw. Ooh, Lotta just threw just that it was fraction close, wasn't too it? early. <laughs> the big objectives still to come. Your podium, Kristen Faulkner from the USA. Men's race to come very, very soon. You can join Rob Hatch, Dan Lloyd, and Adam Blythe.
for that. From me, Marty McDonald and Danny Christmas and Danny Rowe. We will it's see the queen you. of the understatement, though, isn't she? <laughs> when, when you get a post-race interview with Damie Vollering sometime, there's your top ten. Damie Vollering takes it in that photo with Lotte Kapekia, teammate Kristen Faulkner.